All right, so for this one, we're gonna take a look at everything that was included in today's home base status report. And like always, I'll leave a link to the home base status report in the description. First thing I noticed is that they included everything we got last week. And we've already done a video covering everything we got last week, so I'm not gonna bother going over that. So we're just gonna start off with the information they provided for this week. And the first thing we're gonna go over is the new Hexylvania Venture Zone. And the modifier you're gonna see in this Venture Zone is called Short Range, which basically reduces the amount of damage the husks take the further away they are from you. And that includes damage taken from weapons, abilities, and traps. In order to deal a lot of damage, you're gonna have to get within two tiles of the husk. Once you're within two tiles, they'll take 50% more damage. Enemies may also drop healing potions when defeated. So break out your favorite Short Range hero builds and keep an eye out for melee weapons and shotguns. So that's the modifier that came with this Venture Zone. They also made a couple of changes to the rewards you get from Venture Zone. And I'm gonna be honest, they look very similar to the rewards we got last time. So I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at the major rewards. At level five, you'll get a Troll Stash Llama. At level 10, you'll get another Troll Stash Llama. At 13, you get your first weapon research voucher. At 17, you'll get a core reperk. At venture level 20, you'll get a hero voucher. At 22, you get 100 legendary flux. At level 25, you get a survivor supercharger. At 28, you'll get a trap supercharger. At 31, you get two survivor superchargers. At 34, you get another hero supercharger. At 37, you get three survivor superchargers. At level 40, you'll get another weapon supercharger. At 42, you'll get four survivor superchargers, a hero supercharger at 44, five survivor superchargers at 46, a trap, hero, and weapon supercharger at 48, 49, and 50. And those are all of the major rewards. Like I said, not really a whole lot of differences between the rewards this season and last. Basically, I think you just get one extra trap, hero, and weapon supercharger, and you also get 100 legendary flux. And I guess technically you can get a couple of the superchargers a little bit sooner compared to last season. And those are the main differences between the rewards from this Venture Zone and the previous one. The Fort Nightmares quest line also returned, and there's a total of six pages and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through each of them to show you some of the rewards that you can get. So it looks like you'll have a chance to earn Sanguine Dusk, as well as some gold, some candy, some more gold. You'll also have the choice between Ghoul Trooper, Hazard, and Sarah Hotep, and some more candy. So those are some of the major rewards that you'll get from the Fort Nightmares quest line. Plague Doctor Igor is also gonna be returning this week in the event store. And I'm going to be honest, I kind of feel like his standard and commander perk is useless because the smoke bomb has such a long cooldown that by the time it finishes cooling down, you will have gotten your energy back. So not the most useful hero, but he does look pretty cool. Definitely an outfit appropriate for 2020. But yeah, he's going to be added to the event store on September the 11th. A couple of other things I noticed is that it looks like they changed the cooldown on the slow field and that's everything that was added this week. They also gave us a heads up as to what we can expect next week. Basically the only thing we're getting next week is the Black Blade, which we've already reviewed. I'll leave a link to that review in the description if you want to go check it out. But the Black Blade is going to be available in the event store on September the 18th and that's all we're getting next week is the Black Blade. And that sums up everything that was included in this week's home base status report. Uh, there were a couple of other things I wanted to mention before we go that I found on Twitter. Apparently it's going to require more XP to reach level 50 compared to the last season. Uh, with last season, you only needed 2.1 million XP. For this season, you're going to need 3.1 million. So you will have to complete more missions in order to reach level 50 this time around. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they should have made any changes to the amount of XP you need to reach level 50. I kind of feel like the 2.1 million XP was enough. Making it 3.1 million makes it seem like it's gonna be even more grindy than it was the first time around. So not a good change in my opinion. Another thing I wanted to mention is that apparently there's a new weekly quest that will allow you to earn a supercharger and core repert. So not only can you get superchargers and core reperks from Venture Zones, but you should also be able to get them from weekly challenges as well. Epic hasn't mentioned anything about it, but apparently there's been some files added that suggest we're gonna get some new weekly quests. 
And the last thing I wanted to mention was another post I found on Twitter. So this hasn't been confirmed by Epic either, but there is a chance there could be a new starter pack called Mech Structure that includes a trap instead of a weapon. And with previous starter packs, they've both been reskins. So this one will most likely also be a reskin, which means that the trap you get from the starter pack will most likely be a reskin. And I believe the trap that it's a reskin of is the wall dynamo. So we may get like a new looking wall dynamo with the next starter pack. But that sums up everything that was included in the home base status report and everything I could find on Twitter. Let me know what y'all think about the new Venture Zone in the comments below. We'll try to stream some of it on Twitch sometime this week. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.